guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to, to episode 20 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm -hmm. Look at the kids! Oh, fuck. But where would he be able to stay, though? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I I'm scared. Something positive. God. Call me some up. Please let something positive come from this. Please don't let this kid be homeless. I swear to God. I beg you. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, please protect this child. I need Luke to be okay. Amen. That's what I want. <laughs> Let this child be okay. I swear to God. I don't want to cry today. It's complicated. Because of his job. He could be saying what Ben knows him. Yeah, how do you not know where your brother works? That just tells you how much they really don't care for Luke. I'm sorry. Michelle, is he there? <gasps> there he is! He's okay! Oh. No, wait! Mm. That's what you get. He's working now. Wait until he's done. In mind, don't think it's your fault. It's not your fault. Get better first and then go talk to him. Damn. Of course.
No, talk to mine, please. Exactly, it's probably cold there. And watch them say no. And plus, if he goes home, he's not happy there. If you just tell your parents that, I, I'm positive they'll let you go. I don't want to hear him cry. Oh my god. Oh, precious baby boy. There's nothing you can do. Sorry, it's a little stressful today. No, 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 no. Talk it out with him first so that you can get everything out of your mind and then go back to work. If you go back to work with like your jumbled brain, you're not going to be able to concentrate. So talk to him. Yes, he has the right to well, okay. I would ask if he could live here, but mm -hmm. that's all. It would be. Yes. And see, that's the one thing we haven't sat and asked him about. And it seems like that's a yes, but... I believe so. Mm. Yeah, there's a butt. Exactly. At the end of the day, it's his decision alone. Hmm. He needs both sides of the story for him to figure out what is the right thing to do. Both ways are right, don't get me wrong, but 
separating a child from their parents because of, of this reason. It, it is... Mm. It is, and I feel like it's going to get worse. And the funny thing is, I, I had a weird feeling that this was going to happen because we haven't really seen another episode focusing on Lou's family and his side, but... Hmm? Will it help with her mana? Cody. Basically, us. Come here. Cody. Come here. Come here. You're not in trouble. You're just making too much noise. Come here. You're okay. Of course, I kind of figured that. But look at how much he's done now. Oh my God. He'll be protected and saved. Stop. You're fine. I'll let you out when I'm done with this episode. I got nine minutes left. Go lay down. I get that. No one else will ever be his parent besides you. But look at how much he's accomplished. Mm -hmm. You 
you have to support your child no matter what he or she wants to do. So that's his way of saying yes. Exactly. So in the end, your parents have to support it. Mm hmm So all this wasn't really necessary. They said yes to you no matter what. Well, yes, you need to. Oh my God. It's not your fault. Good, oh my god, because if his dad would have said no, ooh, -hoo. <laughs> and I'll make you proud no matter what. Oh, well, it ends well, right? Honestly, this episode went by really quick because we only have, like, what? Four minutes left. <laughs> it's okay. Not everyone is able to explain with words. How oh, my father sometimes like that though. <laughs> oh, you guys don't know? You always have to get both sides. It's okay. It's not your fault either. You just didn't know. Just next time, get both sides. Mm -hmm. No one got angry well, in a way, yeah, but no family was torn apart. And that's the good thing. Oh, mine.
baby girl. <laughs> well, she is a child after all. She still a baby. She still has a lot to learn. Interesting. But this was a really good episode. Honestly, it did go really quickly. But I think this was an episode that was really needed because with Lutz and his situation, they never really they like in see in the first half of this show, about six like season one, um they talk about it, but not as much because of the fact is this is my story and the POV is hers and we get to see a little bit of POV of some other characters. But because Lute is important to her story, he does give moments for, you know, himself in his POV. So I'm glad that we got to see um, the conclusion of this. Didn't like a little bit of stuff in the beginning because the fact is the fight. I wish we kind of got to see that last week instead of showing it in like a mini little flashback indicating this is what happened when mine was like this and stuff. But I get it. It happens with almost every single freaking episode, but it's okay. I am glad that this family was not pulled apart, broken or anything. Cause that would have been really sad because if we got to see Luce's parent and his brothers again, I think I probably would have gotten really sad. Maybe even cried. I mean, you almost got me said I almost thank God you didn't. Cause like, like for the past two weeks with this show has made my behind cry, but I'm glad everything worked out in a way it was supposed to. I'm okay with Lutz's family not knowing about my situation, not because it's none of their their business. It's just sometimes you just got to keep it on the hush hush and not tell everyone, you know. It's interesting, though. <laughs> I still want... Oh, my God. Look at her. She looks so pretty. Oh, my God. The freaking illustrations that, you know, all these other manga artists, like, do are so freaking pretty. It just reminds me of when I did a reaction of um, Boarding School Juliet. And every single week, we got to see different artworks and how, like, gorgeous she is in different art styles and everything loved it but i still we're, we're like i think what six weeks left with this show before it's over um i still want at least one episode about the head freeze in his backstory because he is still mysterious we know a little bit about him but not as much we finally get to know his name for christ's sake because i mean that's something that i wanted to know ever since i saw this like the first episode of this show um last year and now that we're finally knowing that, we might get to know a little bit more about his past and everything of how his upbringing and everything was. But I'm guessing, like, maybe not. Who really knows? But other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episode 20 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 21. Bye, guys.